Hey everybody, we're back again. Uh, gonna add another nymph to the Hare's Ear series. So next is gonna be another guide's choice Hare's Ear, but uh, it's gonna be a lot more of an attractor versus the last one, which was still pretty natural except for the collar. So again, this is a size 14, 450 BL. Um, you can tie these smaller and larger. Uh, I like a 16 as well, uh, but 14 definitely bread and butter. And the bead is a three and a half mil uh, olive tungsten bead. So the thread for this guy is just UTC 70D. We'll start with just running the thread down the body. And the first material we're going to use for the tail is uni floss, and this is a it's just like a chartreuse floss. Sorry, I don't have the spool. Here's here's a similar. This is the same stuff, just a different color, but that's what the spool looks like. So I like to tie this long so I can easily cut it to length after. So pin trap. And I like to keep it on the top and run it all the way to the bead. So this is doubled over. On a 16 I'll use a single strand, 14, 12, double it over. I've never tied these as big as a 10 but I'd be tempted to add a, a third strand just to get a bit more pop in the tail. So next is going to be our rib and I'm using just 6x tippet. I'm going to tie that in on the far side. And then my second rib is just some sulky tinsel in pearl. And I'm going to tie that in on the near side. And then I'm going to run my thread back to where I stopped previously. There we go. Okay, so for the first dubbing for the body is this is Wapsy Natural Fur, and the color is olive, and this is just a hair's mask dubbing. So this is going to be the majority of the body. And like always, I like to keep it thin and tight. The uh, the soft tackle we're going to put on is going to give this nymph shape. And the kind of sparkly tight body is going to show through the soft tackle. But also it will help it sink much quicker, much more efficiently. So try to get a little bit of a taper. stop there. So I'm going to leave myself a little bit of room at the top. Now first rib is going to be the sulky and I'm going to counter wrap this. I guess wrap it backwards the opposite way of my thread. And try to get four or five even turns on the body there. Tie it off behind the bead, and then now I'm going to wrap it with the mono, which just protects it from the teeth. And then tie that off right behind the bead. So now we've got our body done. I'm going to trim the tail to length. So I've left this long, just pinch it and pull, and I go roughly to the back of the bend of the hook, maybe just slightly longer. 
if you don't pull it and you try to cut it, it'll it'll kind of skate out of the, the scissor blades and you won't get a straight cut. Okay, so next I'm going to tie in just a little pinch of scroll dubbing just to kind of support the, the soft hackle. If you don't if you don't put something here for it to stand up against, then it, it just kind of goes straight back and I want it to to flare out a little bit. So, tiny little pinch. And this is the SLF spiky squirrel. And the color is olive. And I put just a little ball. You go even a little bit more than that. Okay, so there's a, a bump, you can see a, a good shoulder there, and that's going to give us something to wrap up against. So the next material is the soft tackle, and this is a, a whiting Brahma, Brahma saddle, nice kind of tan olive, goes good with olive and natural nymphs. And I've prepped the feather. So what I did was I found the, the length of fiber I wanted. And I didn't know because I just tied a bunch of these, but this is roughly one turn around. I don't want too much hackle. And then I, I snipped a V in the front, so that's where I'm going to tie it in. So I'm going to present it right on top. One loose wrap to trap it, and then give it a couple wraps to tie it down. And now I'm going to fold these feathers back. Sorry, I know it's all fingers. come around so it's roughly one one full turn and then as I'm tying the stem down I will try not to tie down any of the hackle fibers uh, you can also do this with partridge you don't need to to use the Brahma hen but the Brahma hen is nice nice coloration uh, the partridge for sure on a, a natural color one goes great. The the basic kind of bread and butter guides choice is partridge. Okay, so now if you were using a fluorescent thread and you wanted a hot spot, you could definitely just build it up like we did on the last one, but I'm gonna finish this with some ice dub. So ice dub, UV peacock eye. And this also kind of helps push the fibers up. Some of them are all coming forward a little bit. So again, just a pinch, nice thin little noodle. And it just kind of tames the fibers. And the last step, I'm just going to put some super glue on my thread. whip finish. So there you have it. That's uh, an olive tag guides choice. And you could definitely switch up the colors, not just olive. This works great with natural. With natural I like to use either orange or like a, a pale yellow tag or also uh, pale pink I'll use for the tag with a pink bead and uh, this has been a, a great nymph for me personally so enjoy if you made it this far please like and subscribe and I'll see you next week